Hello and welcome to EfficiencyAndOrganization.com. This video is going to help you by giving you strategies and ideas on how you can limit and stop distractions so that way you can focus and get a lot more done during your day as a super busy person. If you have not seen any of my videos before, my name is Rosanna Hernandez and this channel is called Efficiency and Organization. I talk a lot about productivity, time management, how to be focused, how to have good planning strategies, anything that's going to help you and help me and help our community of subscribers on this channel to be able to accomplish a lot more in our day. And this video is especially helpful to you if like me, you have a whole bunch of things going on in your life. I am a public school administrator. I have two small businesses. I am a Cal TPA assessor, which means I grade exams for new up and coming teachers. And of course I have a family, I have a home, so I have a lot going on and I keep everything as organized as possible. And over the years I've learned to really limit my distraction so I could be super efficient with how I use my time. And so that's why I want to share with you some of the things I do in hopes that you can learn from them and you can use these in your life. So the first one, I've talked about checklists a lot before on this YouTube channel and I'm going to keep talking about them. You have to have a checklist. You set it the night before for the following day. So I'll give you a good example. Last night I said, okay, what do I want to accomplish today? Today happens to be a Saturday, so I'm not at work. I said, I want to go visit my grandma who's at a nursing home. I have to get grocery shopping done. I want to edit two videos that I had recorded and I also wanted to record two today. The last thing I wanted to do was I'm, I'm constantly reading. I wanted to finish three chapters of a book that I'm currently reading. Then I put these things in order of priority. There are other things, of course, that I want to accomplish today, but I said these are like the main ones. So that's that would be my recommendation for you is to come up with your list of things you want to get done in a day and pick like the top ones, pick the top three to five that way. And you do this the night before. So you wake up with a mission the following day and you're motivated to get those things done. So like the next day you focus on these very important things and you have that self-discipline that you develop over time that you're going to make sure you do these things before anything else. So like at the visit to my grandma, I did it first thing in the morning. Then editing the videos, I did one before I left because I woke up super early. So I got one video edited before and then I did one as soon as I came home. Now uh, recording the videos I left for the end of the day, which is what I'm doing right now. So see the priorities, like you kind of go, okay, what am I going to do first? What am I going to do second? If everything goes as well as it could without like a major, major thing happening, that's going to stop us. Like we live in Southern California at any moment, an earthquake can happen. And so like a catastrophe, a disaster, something that happens like a death in the family, those things of course are things that are not going to help our day go the way we have planned. But if you have a plan of tackle and knowing that, okay, if everything goes as well as possible, I'm going to get these done is really what's going to be key. The second idea is to find a quiet place. So when I was a student, I can tell you, I went to Panera a lot because it was nice. I would get just a coffee and like just one something to eat. And then I would sit and just get my laptop up and work and work and work. Starbucks is a good place. However, at Starbucks, a lot of there's like more visitations, people coming and going. And if you're the kind of person who likes to watch people, it's a big distraction. Library would be another great place to go to a library. The third I mentioned already about waking up early, but you want to wake up early because that's a nice quiet time to get a lot of things knocked out. But if you're like, no, I'm an absolute not a morning person, it's okay. Then what you want to do is work at the end of the day. So if everyone in your household goes to bed at 10 o'clock or if you find that you could stay up and focus past 10 o'clock, Maybe from 10 to 12 is a good time to get like those really important things that you set out to do done. When you work to limit distractions, you want to have all your areas cleared, cleared of clutter. So for example, with all the things I have going on, this is my home office. If you notice, it's like pretty well organized. So the only thing I have in front of me is this paper that I use as a guide for the video to like make sure I remember to say everything I need to say. And I have my planner here. 
But that's about it. I do have all my other projects sitting at the corner of the desk in one pile, but I keep it as organized as possible. So that way I could focus and not get distracted by like papers here, personal affects and little knickknacks and things. That way I'm like fully focused and not distracted by all these things around me. The same goes for your computer and for the phone. So the phone, I tend to put it on airplane mode and on my computer, I don't have any apps set up where I get automatic notifications, even Outlook. I close it because it pops up saying there's an email or something and then I get distracted. Suddenly I'm like reading it. A great strategy to limit or even avoid fully distractions is to be able to do things in small timed increments and take frequent breaks. So for example, um, the recording of the video, I'm like, okay, I'm going to sit in the office. I'm going to get this done. As soon as I'm done, then I'm going to give myself a break. I'm going to go to the kitchen, maybe get some raspberries, get some water or something. So it's like that self-discipline that plays a, a role because a lot of times we are not necessarily distracted by other people, but we are distracted by our own thoughts. So by setting a timer or by saying, I'm not going anywhere until I get this done, you're basically like trying to get your brain to focus and get that task completed before you give yourself a break. It's, it's like a great self-discipline strategy. I'm also going to put something on in the description that has to do with checklists. So it's a product that you can download and it's really nice. I have one that's for the weekend. Like you come up with a checklist, all the things you want to get done during your weekend. And then there's also one that you can use for during the week, but using checklists is an excellent strategy. And I'll have the link to that product in the description box. Let's talk about music. So for me, having like music playing in the background, especially like in my case, I really like 80s music, like the soft rock kind of music. I have actually found that it stops me from getting distracted by my thoughts because every time the only thing that's going to distract me from getting the task done is the music. But for some reason, it also helps me to revert back and come back and finish. Um, on YouTube, I know that they have concentration music. So if you type it, I bet you you'll get some um, recommendations from YouTube as to what you can play. And I have used those before. When I've had major exams to study for, I've done that. I go on YouTube and I type concentration music and like this very nice, I, I guess it's like they, they know what kind of things to play that's going to help your brain to stay focused. If you're at work, you might want to close the door and put a sign that you're working on an important project. But I think a lot of times people don't like when people's doors are closed for long periods of time because then it's like stay away, right? And that's not a good message to send. But that's why the best thing to do is to put a note on the door that you're working on a special project and you'll be available like in 15 minutes, 30 minutes, because you want to make sure that people understand that you're not shunning them away, that they can come back. This is only like a short amount of time that you need to get something important done. And the last thing I wanted to mention had to do with that whole concept of self-discipline and how to be self-disciplined with your thoughts trying to distract you. So how often do you work on something and then all of a sudden, like you think of something else, it could be anything. It could be you're writing the color blue, then you think of the sky, then you think of a theme park. And then for some reason, there goes your mind. It goes on to something else. And so the best thing to do is to use a timer because the timer, it's like showing you the, the seconds going. And I think it's a great way for you to refocus if you try the timer a couple times. And the only other thing I would mention is to have something that you could write on. Okay, so as soon as you get an idea and then like your thoughts are on that, write it down, like put theme park and then stop because then it's like you're telling your brain, I will think about you later. I'm not, I'm not able to right now, but I promise to come back and think about you later. A lot of times this happens to me when I go, oh my gosh, I need to do something. And then here I am, like I spend all my energy thinking about what I need to do instead of focusing on what needs to be done. And so that's what I've learned is writing that down helps me, especially in my handy dandy planner, because then like it's like in a, on a future date. But that's how our thoughts are. Like one idea leads to the next to the next. And that happens a lot with people who are creative thinkers. But it's not good to let those thoughts distract us 
That's why the best thing is to write them down and keep them for a future day. Okay, and so that's what I have for this video. Please be sure to subscribe to this channel so you could get really awesome information that it gets published uh, twice a week on a normal basis. I do videos twice a week. If you hit the notification bell, you'll be notified when they come out. If you like the video, please like. And if you could, before you go, write a comment in the comment box. So what you're gonna do is say, I can do it. And you're gonna put an exclamation mark. I can do it, exclamation mark. And this is going to basically be you telling yourself and announcing it to our community of subscribers that you are committed to limiting distractions so you could stay focused and productive as long as you can. I appreciate you being with me today and I will catch you in the next video.